What's up everyone, it's your boy Showtime Doctor. So this is gonna be my last video for right now. Try to get some more out tonight, tomorrow. Uh, we're gonna go into which, <clears throat> excuse me, which units in the game are super good, super powerful, and uh, what I know about them as well as what the tier list says. I'm gonna leave a link to the tier list. Uh, you can click show more in the title info. <clears throat> the first two, they're both URs. Uh, don't even worry about it right now. Getting a UR is ridiculous in this game, and that's going to be like something we're going to put months into, if not a year. So, these units right here, these three, they are all available from the Legendary Pool. The Legendary Pool is something that you can roll on after you've done 10 10 summons. So, fairly rare to get. Uh, the best one to get, Ludmilla. Uh, Gela is really good as well. But Ludmilla, she's arguably the hardest hitting AoE that is not a uh, a UR, an ultra rare character in this game. Agela is really good though, so like I said, she's just uh, for your PvP, just god tier DPS, and also for, uh, what was that, the raid? Raid's going to be really good. Uh, if you're wondering what these are, this is PvE, PvP, raid for all of these rankings here. And it's the highest one you can get. Now, Anhelo, he's a really good unit, but just like it says, he falls off if he doesn't have dupes. So he can hit really hard if you can get him to at least level 50, level 55. But for that, you're going to need three dupes and a copy. So fairly hard to do there. Ash, we all get an Ash. Um, you're going to be able to farm Ash shards up in, uh, I forget exactly what they call it, Dimensional Gate, uh, one of the farming dungeons. You should do that ASAP because Ash's leadership once you get it leveled all the way, is a 45% bonus to attack. And that is mo most realistically the one you're going to be able to get uh, to level 45 quickly in the game. So pretty good. Blossom, she's very underrated because she doesn't have any effects in her abilities, but she's super hard hitting AoE. So if you get her, uh, you can actually make her part of your PvP team, and especially against uh, wind units or whatever the hell it is in this game, Earth. Uh, she just wrecks. She's actually a really good unit. You just need to get her uh, some good support around her. So Celestia, uh, the one shout out I'll give Celestia real quick. She has defense down single target, which a lot of characters don't have in this game. So if you're doing like a raid boss, she's actually fairly good. I think her rating should be brought up a little bit. It's just her damage by itself isn't the best. But if you can set up for another unit, actually really good. Uh, Colette, despite her rankings here, she's actually one of the hardest hitting characters in the game, uh, mage-wise. So, especially if you get her and Luna together, they have a team move that's actually really good. Uh, very good. I'm actually not even sure what VDE are. I wonder if that's a raid boss. Let me look. Oh yeah, that's the fire raid boss. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you debuff the fire raid boss with, uh, I forget what's called, Chill in this game. What she has is actually super solid. Damien is a god tier, um, well not quite god tier, but just under god tier uh, lifesteal tank. Get him lots of block, or get him lots of damage reduction, pick one or the other, and the dude will freaking wreck you, uh, wreck in PvE. Not bad in PvP, decent on raid. So, uh, let's keep going here. Este, uh, pretty good AoE damage. Carries pretty hard on PvE, not so great everywhere else. Not that terrible in PvP, but... Uh, Glek will actually do pretty good in PvP. Glek is a SSR dark tank. Uh, he does have his issues though, but if you happen to have one or a couple copies of him, he's actually pretty good. So, Helena is top tier healer in the game. She has AoE heal, AoE defense buff. I believe she also has damage reduction. I know she has like a fourth thing, but I forget what it is. But she's the best healer in the game. So if you get yourself a Helena, build her up ASAP. Yen I can't speak on because I've never used her, but apparently she's pretty good. Oh, that's funny. They rank Jack so low. Jack's not that bad. He should be at least like sevens and sixes. He shouldn't be fours and threes. Uh, the thing about Jack is he gets uh, really good damage against dark units, which if you've noticed, there are a lot of very good dark units in the game. He gets uh, one of his skills. It's It does like regular AoE damage, but it does a bonus percentile damage against dark units. So he shouldn't be that low. I don't know why he's that low. Jasper, really good DPS, uh, PvE-wise, PvP, he's decent. Genkai, it's actually disappointing with Genkai. I thought he'd be a little bit better. Uh, he's a tank that has taunt, and I forget if he puts up... It's either blind or silence. I think it's silence, where he slows down DPS for the other team. That's why he's so high-ranked in arena. 
because silence actually shuts you down pretty hard. You can't use active skills. Um, not a bad tank. If you happen to get a bunch of copies of them, well worth building. Lika is amazing, especially because we all get a Ren. She has a link skill with Ren that does really good AoE damage. And both her and Ren both do uh, good AoE damage. I just forget if it's Lika or Ren that has the poison procs. I think it's Ren, actually. I forget. Lika puts up a debuff. I just forget what it is. Luna. Uh, do not believe the 887 in this. She is ridiculous. And obviously, we all have Sophia. So, yeah, she should get 9, 9, and 8. Um, her 2 is one of the hardest hitting skills in the game. It will just straight wreck you if she's built right. Just ridiculous damage, even better than her 3 in many cases, especially in PvP. So keep that in mind. She's just so good. Ophelia, probably, bar none, if you can get copies of her, the best tank in the game. Um, other than Cicero, because Cicero has like a self-heal, but as far as like mitigation and stuff goes, Ophelia is ridiculous. Ridiculous great tank in this game. Uh, Rise, like it says, good for Vidir raids. Vidir is the fire boss. The reason he's good for Vidir raids is because he has uh, the chill debuff, which you need to debuff that boss. So, really good there. Uh, Ren, we've gone over Ren. Link with Lika, really good. And apparently really good at farming shards, too. I never got to 810 on my uh, my Canadian account. I got to like 81 or 82 about a month in. Uh, Show me is the best support in the game. Yeah, her animations do suck. I will agree with that. But sometimes you want long animations so you can delay things. Uh, she has an AoE heal, AoE defense buff, damage reduction. And I forget what her other thing is. But she's like super good. So if you get her. Plus she's waifu. Show me your boobs. Uh, Really good there. So. Sophia. We all get a Sophia. God tier healer. Uh, second best healer in the game. If you get a Luna, you get even better crazy stuff going on. Tesse, that's what a lot of people have been uh, re-rolling for, for their initial 1-3 re-roll. Uh, just ridiculous in raids. Very good damage. It's actually pretty crazy. Really good in PvE as well. Lots of AoE damage. Not bad in uh, PvP, or PvE, rather. Unknown. I wish he was ranked a little bit higher. He has such a cool skill set. Yggdrasil. Yggdrasil is the second best support in the game. Arguably the first, depending on what you're doing. She has a damage immunity, which I haven't seen on anyone else in the game currently. Uh, it'll block almost everything. Anything from an auto attack to a raid boss AoE. Uh, it can be pierced through. So, and I'm sure there might be one or two other rules to getting through. Because I have seen people damage even with that. Um, but overall though, if you can time her damage immunity. She also has heal over time defense buff. Really good unit, so if you get her, love her. I uh, don't know much about Alcon. Black Mary SR, very underrated on PvE, simply because she she uh, sets up her own combos. Uh, combo in this game, it's when you can inflict a debuff, or someone on your team can inflict a debuff, and then uh, another character on your team, or in this case, Black Mary inflicts her own debuffs, um, can use a skill that gets a bonus, either damage proc or debuff proc or effect or whatever. So Black Mary can spam out damage like really fast. Actually a very good SR unit. So if you get her, don't fodder her. She's really good. So Ciro, like I said, God tier tank. We all got a free one. Build him as fast as you can ASAP. Uh, probably overall the best SR in the game. When I was playing on the Canadian server, uh, all your friends that had 65 Ciceros, there is nothing this dude can't tank. It's ridiculous. Even Holy Dungeons, which is his opposite element. So, Dark Hill. Uh, very good unit, especially in PvP. Just puts out both loads of damage. Also very good against the Water Boss. Uh, Leaguer Stin right here to destroy his barrier, like it says. Uh, he spawns two pillars that you have to destroy. Otherwise, he's immune. So, really good hero here if you get him. You know, it's like Ghost Rider. The green Ghost Rider. Just build him as much as you can. Uh, let's see, who else can I get to? Gleck, really good, actually, uh, surprisingly really good for raid bosses. Uh, he kind of, it's weird because he used to be a tank and then he was a DPS. I haven't seen what they've made him in this game, so I don't know for sure. But whichever one he is, he puts out very good damage and sustain. And I believe has like a buff or something similar, so. Uh, let's keep going here. I don't have experience with Malkion, so I can't speak with him or about him. Necroid is very good SR healer. Um, you'll look at it, it's like a cat pod, and you'll think this is stupid. No, this this character can carry you in PvE content. 
uh, has AoE heal, a barrier, very fat barrier among other things, some buffs. Really good unit overall, so if you get a Necro, definitely build him. Proxy, Proxy is god on PvE and PvP content. Um, what Proxy does, both of his skills are AoE, one hits four people, one hits three people. The four people one, it does a healing reduction effect, which... As far as I'm aware, there might be other characters that do it in the game, but I've only seen it on him. So for now, for me at least, it's unique to him. Uh, reduce healing, which is very good in PvP. Good in PvE instances where there is healing. And then his second skill, which hits three people, will also heal for... I, f I forget the percentage exactly, but it's like a hundred some percent of his attack to two other units on your game. So it's basically a free heal on your team. Is really strong, really god tier SR. Definitely build him up ASAP. If you get your select SR ticket today and you don't have him, build him up. He's or go uh, go get yourself a copy. He is a god in PvP and PvE actually. Though not bad on raid as well. Uh, Victoria, Victoria is basically DPS that. Uh, how do I say this? She she has a lot of debuffs that she puts up that are really useful. I believe the reduce attack is one of them. But just a really good... Oh, she sets up poison? Is that right? Ah, I forget. But basically, she's a really good unit. I remember I just forget exactly why I have a copy of her right now. Yeah, she sets up poison. I believe she sets up poison. So, uh, sets up poison, which means anyone that has a poison uh, link skill like Ash are going to be really good. Yuri I've never actually seen, so... Apparently it says here falls off late game, but still could cool down supporter, so. Your results may vary. Um, the rest of these characters, they don't have enough info on. Kojiro is actually pretty good. I've seen him. New character. Um, if I remember right, he sets up his own combos too. I just forget what his debuff was, but we looked at him briefly yesterday. But uh, those are the heroes, guys, that are just, like, really ridiculous. I'm sure I missed a couple because I don't have experience with every hero. But I went by everything that I've seen in the game and threw on some tier list stuff on top of it. So I hope that helps you guys out a little bit. And, yeah, i got to get to work in 45 minutes, so I'm done. So uh, if you enjoyed this video, guys, yo, I'm Showtime Doctor, Showtime DR. You found my YouTube. You can hit like and subscribe if you enjoyed the content. Be putting out more uh, info for this game. Uh, for the record, I play this game. I play Epic 7. I'm uh, going to get into a couple other gacha games. I also do some indie game content on the side. Uh, you can click show more under the video, and that's going to take you to my, my uh, Twitch, stream this, and other games, as well as my Discord. we got an overhead tab in there. So if you feel like coming by, asking questions, etc., that's there for you. And I am done right now, guys. i got to get ready for work. So good luck on your overheading. I'll catch you guys later on. Peace out.